so today's video is gonna be a little bit different in the sense that I'm gonna be asking you guys for a little help on something. So I have two really good problems, two really awesome problems, and I want your help on sort of maybe working around these a little bit. I'll do that at the end. So. The first problem is that this channel is almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is awesome, right? Again, I feel, again, humbled and grateful that so many of you guys have found something helpful or something you know interesting on the channel and you've stuck around and on board and some of you guys have been here for years. So again, thank you. I, I, it's, it's fun being a part of it and I, I enjoy conversing with you guys. The second problem is that our gym is bumping, right? Like we always have students, people training, everything's going well, it's perfect. Here's where the two clash. Because of that, the Q and A videos that I do often become, they're very problematic because I either have to do them in the early hours of the morning, which is typically when I do my like lifting. I lift in the morning and I get up and do the Q and A videos there. And so if you ever see a video where my hair's all nice and together, it's in the morning. The second time is at the end of the night, right? We're after done training and all that stuff and my hair's all messy. If you see a messy hair video, that's at the end of, at the, end of the night after training. And I don't mind doing these, but it kind of limits me because the other issue about having all those subscribers is that, man, I get a lot of questions, right? I, sometimes I'll get 50 a day and I can't possibly answer all of them, but I can't even answer as many as I would like. And the reason this is, is that I really enjoy answering them. I really enjoy you know, working with you guys on these problems because the, the cool thing about this is that the jiu-jitsu community is very small, right? It's not, it's not huge, it's, it's, it's very small. And so I go to tournaments, I go to other gyms and visit, some people come to my gym, and I meet the people often that I answered a question to. And that's so cool because it, they have impact, far more impact than I, would have, than I would have ever guessed, right? Like I remember the first time it ever happened, I, I just, I literally didn't know what to say. The guy came up to me, it was at the, uh, the 2016 Master Worlds, he comes up to me, he points, he goes, hey, it's you. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean, it's me? Like, uh-oh, like what did I do? He walks up to me, pulls out his phone, and he says, hey man, you know that takedown you did the, this week? And I was like, yeah, what about it? He shows me a video of him doing that takedown that weekend in a tournament. He basically, because you get to the Master Worlds, it's a multi-day tournament, so you're kind of sitting around a little bit. So he was going to his the, the fitness room in his his uh, hotel, and he was doing like the, in the gym, he was doing the takedown, drilling it a little bit, because it wasn't doing the full takedown, just doing the step into it. And then he hit it that weekend. I was like, that's so cool. Another one that was really powerful to me that again, I didn't really know what to say was at the Charlotte Open, a guy comes up to me, taps me on the shoulder after I was done coaching one of my students and he says, thank you. And I was like, thank you for what? And he said, man, you know, I was watching one of your match or one of your uh, videos where you showed you losing to a person and then you competing against that same person a couple months later and winning. And I was like, man, for him at the time, he would just gotten off of a tournament loss and he felt like crap. And he was thinking about doing the Charlotte Open, but he was like, nah, man, I just lost. I suck. I'm not going to do this. And he said, I saw that video and I was like, screw it. He immediately got onto the, the website, signed up, boom. And then in that day, he took second place. He won uh, several matches and ended up taking second place. And again, I didn't really know what to say. Right, and so that's the cool part about these. The, a lot of these Q and A videos, and a lot of the videos that we do, and the technique videos aren't a problem. And we still have plenty of stuff coming up, like training vlogs. We have some cool drill videos. All that stuff's coming up. But I would like to do some more Q and A's with you guys. And so here is the, the the thing that I'll propose to you guys. A little question I have for you guys. One: Would you like to see more Q and A videos, more Chewy Ramble style videos? If so, cool. If not, what kind of videos would you like to see? And then the second question that I'll ask you guys is: If you would like, or actually more help, if you would like to see more videos, great. Because it's you guys that ask these questions, because it's this collaboration between you and I going back and forth, I have a couple spaces that I can do videos from time to time. One is here at the house. I still have to do a couple things to set this thing up. Um, but I have this big blank wall behind me uh, in my office area, and I'm, I'm very boring, right? Like the things that I hang up are things like this, like these boards where I put up, a, I'll read a book, and I'll be like, oh, that's a great idea, and I write it down, and I stick it on the, the um, the, the, the little pin board so that I can keep those ideas around me. So I'm always surrounded by good ideas. It's kind of boring for a backdrop, I think. Um, and at the gym, I got another, again, blank wall behind me that I can do videos from. And what I would like you guys to do is have you guys be a part of this. So if I was to like sort of build an area here in the office or at the, the gym office, what would you guys like to see behind it? Like, what would you guys like to see sort of going on in the back? Well, maybe you have some ideas because I guarantee there's some of you guys that are way more intelligent than me and way more, way more adept at decorating than I am because I'm not a very good decorator. And even then, some of you guys might even have something to contribute to because I know we have a lot of artists. I've, I've received several gifts from you guys, really cool stuff. And so if anybody has anything that they'd like to contribute, I would love to put it up behind me, right? This way, like, you know, you guys can be a part of this thing where we're we're answering the questions, right? I'm answering the questions you guys are asking. And then the, the little little area, the backdrop could be something that can be a con collaboration between you and me and, and everyone that's a part of this channel. I think that would be just a cool thing to kind of 
kind of make this thing as we keep going. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen. So we're going to do some more Q and A's from time to time, but I would like your help with decorating the two sections or the two rooms that I'm going to be uh, doing the videos from. And I would like to see maybe what you guys either think would look good, or if you have some things that you would like to throw into it and contribute to it, I would love to uh, set that up. The way you can do this is either comment down the boxes below, um, or I'll put a link down in the, um, the comments area, the description box below, where it'll send you to a page where you can send me an email, right? Like if you want to contribute to the wall and you need to get some information, you can send me an email there. Um, but otherwise, we'll do that. And if for some reason you don't want to see more Q&As, what kind of videos would you like to see? I'd be interested in just hearing your feedback. So guys, that's the video for today. And again, I'm really interested to see what your uh, contributions are, what your thoughts are, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.